Capricorn, April for you looks like new opportunities for expansion, love, connections, and really like breaking through old limits that you've established up until now or other people when they try to limit you or they try to like force you to go into a little box or just like fuck that I'm done like get out of here and I also think that now you understand what you say um that's it period you don't need to be explaining yourself to other people if they don't understand you or they're upset because you've established better boundaries to protect your own energy, your own finances, your own business and focus and time and investment. If you're protecting that, that's all that matters. You don't need to explain yourself to other people. I think also some people are really noticing that you're the fucking goat and you're like, you're ready to jump and to start new chapters and new big things. But like, other people, they're jealous because maybe they're insecure, maybe they don't have the same skill set or commitment or talent or whatever, but like, it's not your fault, it's not your problem, it's not your circus, it's not your monkeys. You just need to know who you're letting go of, who needs to be cleared out, because you have a new opportunity for establishing a better structure. Some of you are thinking about moving or you need to clean up your home, get rid of old things. Everything has an energy to it. So you don't need, like we've got the tower here upright with the tower. You don't need to hold on to everything. If you continue to hold on to maybe projects, people, behaviors, items, like actual things, like, if you're feeling attached to it, you need to figure out how to practice more non-attachment because if you continue to hold on to things that you know don't benefit you, people who don't support you, like if it's not a six of coins, if it's not equal give and take or you're not being provided with um, what you need, what you deserve, then you have to drop them. You need to clear them out because it's time to establish a new structure for yourself moving forward. You've already been establishing it up until now, but I think through April, you're going to notice that you're more challenged with other people being like, well, why, 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 why? Because bitch, I said so and that's it, period. I don't need to be figuring out how to accommodate everyone here when you bitches don't wanna help me. It's like, no, it's not the fucking vibe. You have this new identity that is now emerging and you need to trust that. You don't have all of the information. You don't have all of the clarity. You don't have all of the um, answers that you need to decide how 100% you wanna move forward, but you know every day if you just wake up and you trust yourself and you trust that day. Focus on that day. What needs to be done that day? That's it. If you decide, decide, decide moving forward every day a little bit, step by step by step, then over time, a lot of little decisions add up to big change and that's when you will see the results. You don't need to force anything. I think some of you also have been maybe holding or pushing down um, difficult conversations or a perspective that you didn't want to accept. Um, we've got four of wands here reversed with the five of swords here with a uh, six of swords. Some of you for sure are moving or you're gonna have issues, there's a letter R coming through, but issues with a roommate or a housing situation. Um, let it go. Do what you can to clean up, clean out, and if you can, establish a new routine or establish a new financial structure, foundation. Something about your foundation is getting changed up and you need to be willing to let it go. You need to be willing to drop the people who don't support you. Like now we're like actually in 2021 energy. It's Aries season. That's the first house. It's the start of the Zodiac wheel. So like now we're in the new energetic year. So like we don't have time to be slowing down for these people who are fucking lazy. And let's be like real, like compared to a Capricorn, everyone seems a little bit lazy. So it's like you need to just figure out who is not taking their responsibilities seriously? Who is not standing in their power? Because those kinds of people, it's like if you're socializing with them, they're going to rub off on you and you're gonna become more lazy. Maybe some of these people, they wanna drag you down because they know if you commit to yourself and your vision, you're gonna just fucking take off. 
and they don't want you to leave them in the past. Well, bitch, then level up. Match my vibe and you can stay. If you can't match my vibe, you gotta go. We've also got, yeah, I feel like there's just this energy here. If it's exhausting, if it's tiresome, if you're noticing that these people are lazy and they're asking you or expecting you to do all the work and they're just gonna hold on to your coattails and they're just gonna, you're just gonna drag them, you're not gonna drag these bitches. Like, you lazy bitch, get off, take off the coat, keep the coat. I'll buy a new coat when I get there because I'm fucking bossing up and y'all lazy bitches is like, you just can't do it anymore. I'm not gonna let you attach yourself to me. Get away so you have, like look at this, less baggage. Like, hello, less baggage. It's the fool. This is very light energy. This is a new cycle, a new chapter, a new journey. Some of you planning a trip. Some of you are literally like, fuck this. I'm not staying in this job. I can like work online now or I'm establishing my own business. I'm selling my home or I'm getting rid of my lease. I don't wanna continue renting. And like, I'm gonna just travel. I'm gonna travel and work from my computer. Letter L, M, R coming through. We've got four of coins reverse. Sorry, 10 of cups reverse. Four of swords regular. And we've got a two of wands reverse. So like, some of you, have been either taking more time to meditate and to rest or you need to, in April, you need to really connect with your guides, with your angels, and you need to ask them to bring clarity about who and what relationships, projects, places, things are we continuing to bring into our future? What situations should we continue to invest in and what situations should we drop? Because like, for some of you, and maybe you've known these people for a long time, maybe they're a Pisces, um, or they have strong 12th house activation, but like 10 of cups reversed, two of wands reversed. You don't see a future here. It's like, okay, I valued this relationship or I valued this situation. I valued this project, this job, whatever. And that's fine. We've been in this for a long time. Maybe since you were 10 or there's something here with the number 10, it could be 10 years, whatever. But like the 10 of cups reversed and the two of wands here reversed, you just don't see a future with this partner or this collaboration. And if you stay, you know that really it's like self-sabotage because you deserve more. You deserve better now because you've been learning, you've been improving, leveling up. And some people just don't wanna do the work the same as you, so they fall behind when you can't keep them in your energetic field or it will continue to drain you, sorry, to drain you and to drag you down. You don't want that. We've got the world here reverse, bitch, and the sun. That's what you want. You want to be the naked baby on the horse, out in the sun, just titties out. Just... Like this bitch, this is opportunity. This is expansion. This is coming, maybe connecting with a Leo or in August, you're going to really start seeing um, results from everything you're investing in now. But now it's the springtime. We just had the spring equinox. I actually have a really good workshop um, on my website. So check the link in my bio for the spring equinox. Equinox uh, workshop, wow. It's time for you to establish those new intentions. You can't just watch tarot, it's not enough. So you need to let go. We also just had a two days ago, a full moon. So like, go take the full moon workshop at least. It's pay what you can. Like we're healing and releasing all of these bullshit offers. Now we understand who is not invited or included in our lives moving forward because they they lied or they hid information or they tried to scam us or something, but you're interacting with these kinds of people or these kinds of situations because up until now, maybe you really thought that you deserve that. You thought that, that was good enough. You thought that, oh, you know, money is hard. Resources are hard. Like there's not enough for everyone. There's not enough if I leave, so I have to stay. But now it's like, Bitch, there, there is enough. Bitch, there is enough. Like with this, with this sun card, this is enough. You will have enough. You will find more. You will now begin to understand, oh, there's enough for everyone to have abundance and joy and expansion and opportunities. And this is like, boom, the lights all of a sudden come on and you're like, oh, I see things way more clearly now amazing, I can move forward enjoying myself and finding like 
Which do you want? You want which one? This two of coins bullshit, or you want real balance like this, okay? Because the justice card, this is saying that the universe is bringing you more clarity about your relationships, about your negotiations. Some of you have new opportunities, again, for collaborations. Uh, maybe you're moving and you're signing a new lease. Um, the number seven is coming through for some reason. But like with this King of Wands here and this Justice card, it's like when you decide to get more serious about your own future and stop worrying about other people or letting other people influence your energy, when you block them and you get rid of them and you focus and commit to your vision moving forward, you will find way more power. You will find way more opportunities. You will find way more money. You will find maybe a collaboration with a Libra because we have the Libra energy here, but it's like, there's two of coins, which is like, I'm juggling. I'm trying to figure out how to maintain this because there's not enough. It's like, ugh, I don't have enough money. I don't have enough um, time. I don't have enough you know, energy. I'm stressed. I'm trying to figure out how to juggle all of these things. It's like, no, drop that. This two of coins bullshit, drop it. Or drop the people who act like that. The people who think there's not enough. The people who think they need to, uh, uh, uh. it's like, you're stressing me out. You are stressing me out, bitch. Just go. Get the fuck. This is what we want. We want more flow. We want more ease. We want more um, clarity, negotiations that are equal. If I'm showing up and I'm here and I'm giving you these things, I want and I expect the same back. Either money, time, attention, whatever. And that five of cups, oh, bitch. Oh, bitch. Ace of Coins, Ace of Cups. The Ace of Coins was reversed. It looks like some of you really need to take your ideas, take your perspective, take your information, and don't tell everyone what you want to be doing moving forward. No, you need to keep that silent. You need to plan and structure in silence. You don't want to tell everyone, okay? Shh. Keep it hush, hush. Also, simultaneously, when you're deciding, okay, I'm going to... I don't want to continue investing my time, energy, money, focus, attention into this situation or this person. I want to leave. I need to figure out how to leave. So there's two things that will simultaneously happen. One, you need to figure out how to leave. Okay. You need to plan your new structure moving forward. Um, the second thing, you also need to mourn and feel upset because you invested so much time, energy, money into this situation or person. And now you're like, eh. I don't want to continue working with this. So there's two things. You're processing a lot of emotions and recognizing what you're letting go of, who, the relationships, the people, the projects that we're letting go of. So yeah, that's a little bit heavy emotionally, okay? Five of cups. So we understand now I have to drop all of these things. However, the second thing, I have new opportunities coming anyways. So it's like, I'm also feeling excited. I'm feeling happy. I'm feeling ready to accept all of these new offers. And when that new idea shows up or that new collaboration shows up, like the Ace of Pentacles after, like you're gonna find more money. You're gonna find more finances. You're gonna find more resources or more opportunities to make more money and bring in more money. So it's like, this is really good. This is actual balance. This is actually setting up your future more stable, more structured, more um, like a better foundation for your future. But how do you get that? You have to mourn. You have to let go of the people and the places and the things that make your foundation now feel unstable because they're not worth it. You've got a six of cups here with a two of cups reversed. This is literally what I'm just talking about. You need to find more flow, ease, joy. That's where you will find more abundance and opportunity for expansion. The people who are stressing you out, who are not, you know, providing you equal give and take, you need to let them go. You need to drop them and clear them out. Okay. I can help you clear them out. We just had a full moon workshop. So go click on the link in my bio. It's a home video under 30 minutes. It's pay what you can. You have no excuse. Watching tarot is not enough. Okay. Also, I'll be doing a free personal reading giveaway. How do you enter? You just tag your friends below and share this video on your story. Say something cute. I love you. I will see you next month. 
Capricorn, bye, bitch.